Welcome, welcome everybody to Wings and Tangs. All right, there's no wings over here because it's Ramadan and Wilkins can't eat mm. until sundown. So we did a special episode inside of the studio, Gotham Podcast Studio. Thank you for the love, Gotham Podcast Studio. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So well, we still got to give you guys the top 10 things of May. What's going on in WWE? And I have the beautiful multicolored hair, which is red now. We, I think yeah. we got to change the, the flyer. We, we might have to, yeah. Because she has red hair. <laughs> Havelin is here. The Havelinites. Havelin zombies. Haleans. The Haleans. <laughs> <laughs> are outside in full effect. So what's going on? What's going on? How was your week? Um, my week was pretty good. You know, it was, I went to the zoo. Went to, I went the, to zoo? the zoo? Yeah, Pete, that's, I saw yeah. your, your Insta story. I stalked you for like about two minutes. Yo, and like, I love giraffe. And Why? Alpacas. Because first of all, giraffes are tall as hell, and like they just look so funny to me. And then you have you ever seen a baby goat? No. Mad cute. I've eaten a baby goat. No, don't do that. Veal. No. It's delicious. No. Are you a vegan? No, but I only eat chicken and turkey. So like I'm on my way to going back to vegetarian. Why? I don't know. I don't really. I know it's not for me most of the time. I heard the vegan lifestyle is popping. I heard it is. Yeah. It's like great for your health and everything. But I enjoy meat. Pause. Most men do. Yeah, pause. So, <laughs> so real pause on that one. Real pause on that one. Uh, All right. So um, I saw Deadpool yesterday. It was fantastic. It was amazing. It was hilarious oh. from like the beginning to the end. And I was in my feelings a couple times too. Really? You have no soul. We've oh. talked about oh, this yeah, before. Right, so that's right. why you're like, really? Um, oh, you felt something? I don't believe that. No, no. I be- but believe it. Believe it. All right. So. Want to get into it? Top 10 moments of um, WWE this month? Yeah, hell yeah. You want to go first? All right. We're going to start off with, um, I'm not sure if Nakamura's theme change was in May, but I'm throwing it on here anyway. It was in April, but we'll, we'll let you slide. It was close enough. I love the remix. You love the remix? It's, it's super cool. Why do you love the remix so much? Because it makes it a little bit more harder. Before it was like, but now it's like, it's a little, it got more bass. Yeah. You know, it got the little rapper in the background. <laughs> I like it. It's Japanese rapper? Yeah, I like it. I, it, it is pretty fire. It's pretty fire, but it definitely happened in April, but it's you know people love you, <laughs> so people people gonna be like yo whatever. Just let it slide, let it slide, let it slide, let it slide. Uh, my my number ten is Stephanie McMahon coming back ugh. and being. You made an ugh sound. What's an oh, ugh sound? Was that noticeable? Sorry. Sound like push a T. What was oh. up with that? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, she just always like emasculates men when she's like in the ring with them. So I'm happy she hasn't really done that much. Like she's been with the Ronda and Nia thing, but like. Just let them be. But I enjoyed the fact that what she did for Naya and Ronda. Oh, yeah. Like, so when it comes to women, she's great. No, she helped. She carried that that vignette. I've learned that word, new, that new Ooh, word now. You fancy. So my brother's been saying on, on our podcast, like, oh, the vignette. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Black. But he she carried that vignette. Mm-hmm. So look at it like this. Ronda has no, charis- has no charm, nothing. She has as much charm... I have more charm in her my left pinky than she does. Wow. And I'm not even that charming. Oh, my God. It's like, it's bad. It's bad. But you know what? She's, she's been solid in the ring, and she's been trying. Yeah. Naya, I love Naya. We know. I love Naya. You don't know. The world doesn't know. He doesn't know. Oh. Is, Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> he, me. You're right. You're I right. don't know. But she, they, she can't really carry a promo like that. She, she has her ups and downs. Mm-hmm. But Steffi was like the super buffer there. And I truly enjoyed that segment. I was like, yo, Steph. <laughs> Looking real, cause I, you know I got a mini crush on Steph. Oh, she's like she's like the top five milf of the years. Okay, okay. Yeah, she she's like she's like in shape. She is. Fake tits look is. amazing. Ugh. She's amazing. Did you have to say it, they was fake? Huh? Did you have to mention they was fake? We all know it's fake. Jericho pointed it out years ago. Yeah, a thousand times segment. too. Like. Yeah, a thousand <laughs> times about it. He but did. she's amazing. She's like a boss lady. Yeah, like, Triple she H, is. Triple H pulled off a good one, man. He did. He did. Yeah, yeah he did. He did what he what he needed to do. They're a nice little power couple. They, they are a nice little power couple. Speaking of power couples. Mm. Gender is my number oh. nine. Oh, because <laughs> you know he got his boy that he threw at he threw at Roman Reigns. It's so disrespectful. That's a nice power couple right there. It, it, they are, they are. But I've been enjoying what they're doing with gender. As my, that's my number nine. You know what? My number nine is like his feud with Roman to start. But I like when Roman beat his ass though. So why? I mean, because Roman is my number one. Gender's my number three. You know, so whoever gets beat up, I'm happy. But like Roman really went in. He speared him through the wall. Like. Whenever someone gets speared through something, it's a good day for me. Just saying. I just like to put the, the fact that gender is just involved. 
Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter what he's doing. He's just involved. And I love what they're doing with him. Like, okay, we're going to plug you here. Mm-hmm. You're going to put this guy over. We're going to put you over for a little bit. Then we're going to put this guy over. Mm-hmm. Like, it's quality stuff. And he's it getting is. better in the ring. He has been. You know, people be trying to deny it. No, no. He's been no. Ever since he became champion, it's a slow buildup of his mm-hmm. work ethic. And you got to respect what he does. And yeah. I've been enjoying what he's doing, what he did this month. Me too. Especially with Roman. Like, it was enjoyable. Like, I enjoyed it. So, you want to go more about the fight? Oh, so um, Roman had a qualifying match, and yeah. Gender Straight messed him up. He grabbed his foot. Fire. I know. I was like, oh, like I was so happy. And then, um, did Gender beat him up for a little bit? A little bit, but you know, they, they, that, that make the big dogs look big in his yard. Yeah, Roman definitely had the upper hand, and um, he beat his ass. I think it was two times. First, he was in the back; his ribs was all taped up, and then when he came out, Roman speared him through the wall. So Yeah, but it, it was still fire. It was. I loved it. It was still fire. I enjoyed I, like, it. I, I just, enjoyed it. I'm worried about the fans, because like, their match is in Chicago. Oh, oh. Money in the Bank has to be the most fire pay-per-view in the last <laughs> six months. Because Chicago, I w- in my opinion, is worse than Brooklyn. I think so. Chicago has no care in the world. No. Like, not. top... The worst fans in the world are Philly fans. Mm-hmm. I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan to the to, to the T. Like I love Philadelphia Eagles fans. Like Philadelphia Eagles, I love them. I bleed oh green gosh. and white. Like I bleed that. Okay. Dark green, not not the light green, not like the the Jets. I bleed that. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's my team. Like I almost cry when we win the Super Bowl. Really? Yes. That is dramatic. But Philly fans are disgusting because they were <laughs> eating poop off the floor. What? Yes. When they won the champion for randomly. Okay, that's weird. Because I hell. think it, it was supposed to be symbolic of them eating crap for such a long time. So, so they're like, okay, well, let's be symbolic. But that was literal. Like, why would they do it literally? It's Philly fans. What do you expect? Strange. Very but strange. Chicago fans, when it comes to wrestling, are the worst. And I think <sighs> that pay per view better be fire, or they're going to do some lot of editing when they oh, put yeah. on the WWE network. They're going to shit on Roman and gender, I think. Just they, because everyone hates Roman. But 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 Jinder would get a crazy pop, though. But that's what I'm hoping for. Like, I'm thinking Vince thinks him going against Jinder is going to get Roman over, but it's going to do the opposite. It's going to get Jinder over, I feel. It just, but it, it's, it wins. It's a win-win situation when you think about it. Somebody got to get some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because Janelle, when Janelle went to um, Raw, when it was in, like, Prudential Center, mm-hmm. or, new, yeah, Prudential Center, whatever, in, in Jersey, she told me that, um, our boy Peter, you know Peter Romanski. Mm-hmm. He 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 had a gender shirt on, and after that thing, it was like, "Yo, your boy Gender did his thing tonight, did his mm-hmm. thing tonight." So you know what I mean? It's yes. it's, it's more merchandise sells, old baby. He needs a new shirt too, cause like I'm getting tired of the old one. You getting tired of the old I, one? I need a new one. So what's your number eight then? My number. I got eight, something new. You get tired go, of the old one. <laughs> I'm gonna go down with the B team being. Oh, um, we're on the same page. We're on the same page. There we go. There we, we got, go. <laughs> I see. I, yo, yo, I love fire. the B team. The B team is delicious, but they deserve and great. it. They they deserve it. You know, because neither one of them are bad in the ring. And not they, at all. And they have become really good characters. So, like the new name, the music, the music, the, fire, bro. What, what, like my brother would say, yoga flames. It is. And right now they're undefeated. I'll take it. Me too. Keep I'll it take going. it. They need them tag titles. They need the tag <laughs> titles and keep the same t-shirts. Let's yep, draw it on. Let's no. draw it on B team. I was like, yo, this is this is creative genius it at is. the work. It is. Sometimes simple is the best thing. Yeah. So I like it. I, I love it. 100% behind I, them. I, I am with it. I love Bo Dallas. He's <laughs> underrated talent. He is. Yo, he was an NXT champion. Yes. Was he twice? I what? think so. He was really good. He was, he was popping. Playing, playing little white. But yeah, you know. He was popping. I love it. Curtis Axel. He has like the teacher, the teacher hair. Oh, he definitely has teacher hair. Yeah, yeah. Definitely but... has teacher hair. He's won Triple H's um, failures. Oh, my God. Because he hasn't been as big as he wants. But I love That's him. What? Yeah, I yeah. love them together. I love them together. This could be something good for this, both this of is, them. I, I was hyped for this. I was hyped for this. And I was scared when they didn't go with the Miz. Yeah. I was worried because I was like, oh. I was a little scared too, but then, but then they're doing their thing. And they have accepted their role as being by themselves. Yeah. I love the storyline. I love it. Here um, for it. But speaking of duos, Uh my number seven, Mm. Aiden English and Lana. Mm. Aiden English is the best third wheel ever. (laughs) He is, though. You you know when you want to date with somebody? Or you hang out with your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever? Boyfriend for you, but girlfriend for me. I was like, when did I get a girlfriend? I I don't know. Listen, listen. I'll take it. (laughs) Oh, 2018. (laughs) We we play games. (laughs) We we, we, we go both ways. But um, 
You don't know that friend that you have mm-hmm. that you bring along anyways. And they're, they're just part of the, the relationship. Yo, he's the best hype man ever. Hi, just the best hype man. Like, like I need an ain't English in my life. When I walk to the streets, somebody's like, Wilkins is here. Right, right. It's Wilkins is here. Like, I want to I wanna feel like, yo, feel important. That would be amazing. Like, the two things I want in life, if I could get it, hype man and my own theme music when I walk through the door. Dude. I feel you. I want like theme music throughout my day. Like, dude, like if, if I'm if like something bad happens, dun, 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 dun. right? Like, oh, damn it. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm all about musicals. I know. I'm all the... about musicals. <laughs> I have seen hairspray like four times. Really? Don't judge me. I have seen hairspray okay. about four times, mm-hmm. and I'm still a heterosexual. So, so I just love musicals. Enjoy what you enjoy. I, I enjoy what I enjoy, but yes. you know, people be saying things about it. But I'm, I'm let, let y'all know. Mm. I enjoy musicals. All good. All but good. Aiden English putting over Lana like that? They were chanting Lana's name. I know. Who is Lana? But see, look, check. That's my number seven. It was when she got that quick win to qualify. So, yo, why are you copying me, man? I'm looking, I'm looking at my test papers. I, listen, I got, I got it written right here, you know? So do I. I can't really see. That's because I have sloppy handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't write in print. Yo, can't be worse than mine. No, nah, I can't really write in print. I can write script very well. Mm-hmm. My script is you phenomenal. Got fancy script? Yeah, it's phenomenal. I need to see. But, but, but um, print is I don't know why Sorry. those motor skills never got popping. Back to kindergarten. Yeah, my, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jokes. Anyways, <laughs> but what's your thought of English and, and Lana? Um, I like it, but I'm just I feel like they're gonna somehow make him turn on Ada English because you know Vince is dumb. Oh, let's just get Lana and Rusev back together. But they work as a trio. Yes, he's the amazing friend that never gets play. Right. Like I don't see the problem. She he is the the weird guy friend. <laughs> That that's been friends with you for years, it's like no if, if but still still around. He has a girlfriend here and there, but he's always around. Dedicated. He's always at the house. <laughs> you know, sometimes your girlfriend gets mad, like why is he here? But think about it, he's giving you tips about making her happy, mm-hmm. but he can't keep a woman. Oh. Doesn't take his own advice. Doesn't take his own we advice. Have, we all have that friend. We all have that friend, and that friend is amazing. And Aiden English is that friend. He is. You I need like Aiden English around. Can I have any English? Can I have him? I want an eight English in my life. I'm my girlfriend off. gets tight at me. I call eight English up. Yo, just come through and help me out. Right. Because like. <laughs> cause wifey be tired. Wifey's mad at me right now. Where's your eight English? He might where, help. Where, yes. Where's my eight English? I she woke up this morning and want to talk to me. Damn. damn, damn. You'll fix it. So I, I rolled over. <laughs> I said, you going to the gym? She's like, yes, I am. <laughs> With attitude. With mad attitude. But where's my eight English to protect me? To help we me both need thing. to find our eight yes. English. I'm taking applications. I'm taking applications too. Preferably a chubby guy. Yeah, yeah. With a college education mm-hmm. and bald. I don't need a guy with good hair. Make <laughs> me look bad. Make me look bad. <laughs> I, I'll go for the, the eight English. I need a, a pasty way, you know, a ginger. I'm okay with it. Okay, okay. I'm okay with it. Okay, you're number six? Because you, um, pasty white, because um, redheads are crazy. So we might as well go to six. Yes, okay, crazy. but um, I'm gonna go with Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. Uh, yeah, you don't, you didn't like it? I'm over it. But it I'm was so two. good. It is good. It is good. But I give me something was, new. I th- I mean, uh, you know, same Seth Rollins, same Kevin Owens. But it was good when he did the Falcon Arrow. Is it Falcon Arrow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. On the apron. Mm-hmm. I was scared. I was like, because first of all, I didn't think he was gonna do it, and then I'm like, up, oh, Kevin Owens is dead. It's over. Kevin Owens is dead. It's over. I, I thought he was. <laughs> He's the funniest guy, by the way. It's like side note, he is the funniest, most sarcastic asshole I can see in the that. world. I can like, see that. He he's he's the funny guy that sits in behind the closet and just throws paper at the back of your head. Yeah, yeah. But, but I should need a Kevin Owens too. I don't need I, a Kevin. Owens. I need a Kevin Owens. I don't need a Kevin Owens. <laughs> it might make me feel better about myself. No, because his, his IQ is so high <laughs> that he might say some shit like, "Yo, could you just like, say?" What? You ever watch? Remember Daria? Was it Daria? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He has her intelligence where, like, you know when he, she would say a joke to someone of the kids on the, on the high school and then like, they wouldn't get it? But she was dry, so. She was dry, like super dry. But I enjoy some dry. <laughs> like some dry. Like some dry. Okay. Dry meaning dry humor. Dry, I know. But why you make the face? That's just my face. <laughs> so my number six. I'm going to tell you my number six. Okay. It's not real, but it's the fact that they're teasing that maybe Big E might go mm. on, a, on a quality singles run and become that black champion that we've all been yes, like just uh, thirsting uh, for. Waiting for <laughs> just, See, just harsh about it. If that happens, 
I won't be too mad, but I just can they do it with the new day still being. I think I think they should just give them the titles. Yeah, to do some um like some undisputed era type of thing. Give Biggie the title, um the Xavier and um Kofi tag, tag titles, titles, and they got the gold. Yeah, because I think that'll elevate them. Because because right now their their merchandise sales have gone down, mm. so people are talking about like. They, they're, comp- they're talking about like maybe they should break them up because they're a little dry right now, mm. blah blah blah. But we can't break them up. No, it's such a pop. In- I mean, I'm getting a new shirt, the pancake. I'm getting that too. Yeah. Wait until it goes on sale, though. I know you, when you know it's I'm like fifteen dollars. Yeah, like you know I'm cheap. Off. Yeah, you know I'm cheap. <laughs> I just got my new AJ shirt. Though, uh, AJ, so you show it to the people. Show it to the people. Turn around. The new AJ is tied up, so you can't read it. But yo, every time AJ come out with a new shirt, I'm getting it. You getting like, it? I love it. You love it? Yeah. Okay. It could be the same shirt, just different color. I love AJ. But you, I just say you're in that you're in that category of being so great. I don't care for you anymore because you up there right now. So <laughs> I, I expect this from you. So you don't surprise me when you put on a phenomenal match. True. Do a great promo. <laughs> yes, we accept this from you. But you sound bored. Hmm? I'm not bored. I enjoy it. Okay. Gets me hype. All right. I can carry Nakamura for a while. Then Nakamura finally getting find his groove back like Stella. Yeah, yeah. Because he definitely was a little blah blah for a while. But the heel turn. Yeah. T- totally blah blah. blah. Totally blah blah. He was, he was. So number five. Number five, I'ma go with um Mustafa Ali versus Buddy Murphy. This was on two oh five live. Mm-hmm. But it was if you haven't seen it, please go see it. It was I didn't watch it when it first came on. My friend okay. was like, yo, go check this match out. I'm like, mm, but I love Mustafa Ali. Mm-hmm. This match was intense. Like, I don't know. Like you have to see it. I can't even explain to you. But basically, um Buddy Murphy has a triple power bomb. And for like a little guy, he's that little to me though i've never really got into 205 live i need to start doing it. my brother talks about it all the time mr mm-hmm. black mm-hmm. talks about it all the time and, yo they have certain matches it's like wow this should have been on raw you know like it's yeah. really good but um they put in a great match mustafa ali was on the top rope right yeah. trying to do i don't know what he's trying to do and buddy murphy pushed him off to the outside and he did a backflip landed on his feet from the top rope i was some, some, scared some, watching that's some flash that's some yeah, flash yeah. Stuff. it was though you actually want to watch him versus seth rollins because Mustafa Ali kind of reminds me of Seth in the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so, they have the same ring gear. They do, yo, for a couple of minutes, I was like, is this Seth? Oh, no, 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 it's not Seth. They, say they, both, <laughs> they both have um, super, they both have sand outfits on. Yeah, yeah, it's just so, very, very Vegeta similar. landed on, on Earth. I need them two to have a match, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. Because Wait, one second. On Dragon Ball Z, this is, I'm going off subject right now. Really? Is that because of the Earth? I don't know. I'm not a big Have they Dragon said Ball Dragon Ball Z? People out there, is Dragon Ball Z on Earth? Let us. I, 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 I just need to, just, just need to figure this out. Like, I, I just, because now that I'm looking at it, that's, that's not how Earth look like. <laughs> I don't think it is Earth. Because don't they have multiple moons? Mm-hmm. I think so. Who has multiple moons? Is it Saturn? Who has multiple? Saturn has multiple, almost every other planet has multiple moons. Besides us. Get it together, Earth. No, if we had multiple moons, it would mess up the environment. Oh. Like, it would <laughs> screw up a lot of stuff. But wouldn't we just adapt? Yeah, but I don't think we would have what we have, though. Mm. Like, hurricanes would be a whole lot worse. Oh, no. Earthquakes probably be worse. No, I don't think earthquakes, but hurricanes would be really bad. I'm not a fan of it. Because it, mess- it, it deals with the water waves the and everything. Yeah. And so, like, it's all that, the gravitational pull. Then it'd, be, it'd just be weird if you have multiple moons. But you don't know what would happen, you though. You look pretty in the sky. I look really pretty in the sky, but I don't <laughs> want to die. I know, I know, I know. Was... So, my number five, I'm going to NXT. You went to 205 Live, I'm going to NXT. We probably got the same one. Velveteen Dream. And Ricochet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Okay. First things first. Let's talk about Velveteen Dream. This man, first of all, makes me feel old every time I figure I know his age. He's 22 years old. Oh, my God. He I didn't know he was that. Tw- he, he's 22 years old. Yeah. And riding this way. But the thing is, he's so, like, really, really, like, breaded. Like, really. Like, he's a good piece of chicken. <laughs> Fried chicken that got the good bread all over it. Yeah, like, there's yeah. no spots missing. Like, you, you throw it into that fry, it comes out extra crispy. And he's been coming Perfect. out extra crispy. This this character for him? Yeah. He's, like, he nails it. N- n- nails it? My nigga, there's multiple nails in, in that coffee. It's just multiple <laughs> nails. Like, there's one nail. He just got it on point. It's 13 of them. But I, I'm loving when he's doing Ricochet because he's making Ricochet elevate his mic skills. Yeah, yeah, because he wasn't the best. Ricochet's not that great on the mic. In the ring. In the ring, he's phenomenal. He, he he's a he's a, a godsend. Yeah, borderline. Yeah. Like, but them two together is magic. It, I was gonna say magic. It really it, is. Yeah. Like, I could watch them 
30 minutes. Watch them for a solid 30 minutes. Is that the number five? It was. It was. was. I was like, because I'm like, oh, I got two of a lot. I got NXT. Oh, oh, you were feeling yourself. I was trying to like dip one down. You were feeling yourself. So you can go a little. So talk more about your your opinion on it. Um, It reminded me of an indie match, you know, and it's not a bad thing, but it was quick. Are you a huge indie fan? I'm so so. Because we we, we mostly talk WWE, but you're a huge indie fan? I don't follow it much, but I have a friend, a really close friend, and he's an indie wrestler. So yeah. Like I have to follow it sometimes, you know. I got some. I got some. So we had Joe Kim Noah. Mm-hmm. Not I say Joe Kim Noah. It was a basketball player. No, Joe Kim Morales from yeah. Battle Club Pro. He came on, great guy. He came on. He's like, "Yo, I know your name on word on the street that you're a WWE Mark." Ooh. I said, "What's that supposed to mean?" How did you feel? I, like, I felt like <laughs> I felt some type of way at first. Like, yo, you called me a WWE Mark. What was that supposed to mean? Is that the word on the street? Mm. First of all, I'm happy people are just giving me giving me a little. A, a little reputation, Re- recognition out here. You know, they, they, they understanding that what I do, mm-hmm. but you, you call me WWE Mark. But that's not really a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but I, I felt some type of way. Mm. Mm-hmm. He said, and then you know, because because we talk about mostly WWE, it's we the do. biggest brand in the world, blah blah blah, and it's easier to follow for the people that want to talk about it. So True. I felt, but but when he said that, I was like, oh, oh hi. Right. <laughs> you gonna call me out like? But that? but but you know, I'm, I'm gonna back it up. Because we talk about Cody Rhodes, how Cody mm-hmm. Rhodes became such a uh, a huge guy in the indies. He has. And, he, and I was like, well, WWE helped him with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, okay. <laughs> he was like, well, Kevin Owens, um, you know, told the, 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 the uh, what's their names? Who's talking about? The Young Bucks. Young Bucks. The, 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 Kevin Owens told the Young Bucks to um, watch out for him. Mm-hmm. But I was like, yo, that, rep, rep, that relationship with Kevin Owens... Was from WWE. Yeah, helped them out. All right. I still got love for the indie because I saw some fire indie stuff. Yo, they I'll, get crazy. I was watching. Um, I went to go. I went to a hog show. Mm-hmm. House of Glory. Yeah, Woo, yeah, boy! It was fu- 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 fire. Yes, they I, be fast paced. That's what I'm saying. There's this team named LAX. Yep. No, I'm, I'm, a about. I'm, yeah. a I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. You over? Huh? You was at the, the recent one. Yeah, That's I was one that was there last week. It was fire. It was fire. It was some good wrestling. I, I bet. I was there it was for the first quality wrestling. It's a little messy because it's indies. It happens. It happens. But, but you know, I enjoy a little messy. Right. It's, it's like that. It's um, like hmm? It's like your wings. Yeah, like a little messy. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that weekend song. It's like, girl, like, I like when you, when you, when you come through with a, in a mess. It shows that authenticity. <laughs> you know what I mean? It shows that pureness when you're a mess. Right. You can't cr- be perfect all the time. Like when somebody's makeup is all messed up, they're crying. Right. It shows like this real... Real innocence, the real essence of a person when, it does. when they are mess. It does because no one's perfect twenty four seven. Nobody's perfect twenty four seven. These IG models be lying to us. They do be lying to us. You know what gets me tight? Side note: when people point out like, "Oh, Sasha did a botch," I'm like, "Okay, is she not allowed to botch a move?" Everyone does it. My thing is what you do after you botch. True. That's how. That's my thing. How you recover? Yeah. So we're gonna go back on gender real quick. Grace Roy Rumble. That botch with, that he did with Matt Hardy, with, with Jeff Hardy. Stupid. It was, so, so, people who didn't see this, I need you to Google Jeff Hardy versus gender um, botch, Greatest Royal Rumble. Bad. Because, basically, Jeff Hardy, I think he did the whisper in the wind. I think so. Yeah, he did a backflip off the top rope, and he misses gender, like, completely, completely. misses gender. And then Jinder just looked at Jeff Hardy and just fell to the floor. Yeah, like, you can't do that. I think Batista did that some years back, too. Like, he didn't get hit, and then he just jumped all the way back, and I'm like... Yeah, so it was like, the whisper in the wind, the actual wind, <laughs> is why hit Jinder. <laughs> so I was like, yo, this, this, this is ridiculous. Strongest but, wind ever. So you see what, it, see what it is? Jeff did a botch. They both did a botch, because they missed the spot. Mm-hmm. But Jinder didn't clean it up after. Sure didn't. So that was a bad move. So a botch is a botch. It's going to happen. They're people. But it's what you do after. Yeah. And people do get hurt. It's wrestling. Sad. This thing, shit happens. What number are we on? Um, I'm going to say I have three left. So. You have three left? Yeah, yeah. So we're on like five. This is very unorganized. But we had some of the same ones. We had some though, of the same you know ones. I mean? So we're going down. We're doing until the last. I have four more. <clears throat> that means it's your go. So it's my go. Yeah. So let's, let's see what the people are saying, though. Let's go to hit the IG. Oh, oh, let's check you guys out real quick. Oh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Come on, what you did? You just did. Mad people in your All right, here you go. No, it's not. I don't want to put that out there. You, you joined so late. You joined so late. No, that's okay. fine. Honestly. Nobody said anything. It was cool. You better start talking to us now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
So yeah, your number, your next. My next is Shinsuke turning heel. But, mm-hmm. but continue growing that heel thing. Oh, okay, because it definitely happened in April. It, it definitely happened, but I'm enjoying what he's doing as a heel, though. Yeah, yeah. It's strictly just beautiful. It's some good stuff. It is. His mic work, even though he doesn't have perfect English, to me it works for him right now. Yes, because he's a bad guy. A little, yeah, he's being a little asshole with it. And I'm like, okay, I see you. Remember when she asked him, hey, um, what kind of match are you expecting to like, what, what kind of stipulations are going to be for the match? Mm-hmm. He's like, pillow fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I would like to see that though. Like, because I like him and AJ. So I would totally watch a men's pillow fight. No. They used to do that. Come on, first of all. Back in the day, the women used to have stupid ass pillow fights, mud wrestling. Why can we not have the men do that? Because it's the grades of the sport. All right. But the women did it. Let's be fair. No. Yes. No. I'm trying to, listen, let's get a Roman gender mud wrestling match. Nah. Yes. We're not doing that. We could. We are not doing <laughs> gonna that. going to write a letter to Vince, by the way. Uh, write a letter to Vince. Vince is going to throw shit in the garbage. Oh, my God. Don't. Don't say that. Nah, you're gonna throw that shit in the garbage. What's your next one, bro? Let's <laughs> move on. My next one, it is Nakamura, but it's um the way he beat the hell Why out of AJ. Why are you sweating AJ. me, son? No, no, no. Look, right here. The way he beat the hell out of AJ and how he announced the stipulation as a um last man standing match. So he was beating AJ up, and then he was counting, but then AJ would get back up, beat him up some more, counting. He finally made it to 10. And he got on top of the table, and he announced it's going to be a last man standing match. I was excited because I feel like this is where they're going to make up for their WrestleMania match. WrestleMania was okay. It was okay. It should have been great. But I feel like this last man standing match, they cannot give us anything less than a five star match. I doubt they're going to give us no, a five star No, no, no. Don't do that to me. I doubt that. You don't can put money on it. $5. Yeah. All right, $5. Put $5 on it. I'm dead serious. I don't money. <laughs> no, we said five stars, so $5. All right, cool. But they have to get, they, no, I think they're going to deliver. What? I think they're going to deliver. Nah, come on. Dude. How can you doubt them? I they, do. The time limit alone, they have to. Don't get me mad in here. You get mad all you want because <laughs> it's not happening. Why do you think it's not going to happen? Because I've been disappointed before and I'm very petty, so I remember everything <laughs> people do to me. Why would you do that? That's our relationship problems. You're supposed to just, let say, you got to think, hey, they're going to make it up to me with this. Just one. let things go? No. Yeah. Yes, let it go. No, I Elsa said go. it best. I don't let things go. I don't let things go. So exactly. I want them to surprise me. I'm not trying to put. I'm not trying to get all hyped up and then get crushed. I'm hyped. Like you know that that dad that says I'm, I'm gonna come to your baseball game to a little kid and the <laughs> dad never shows up. Oh, that is so sad. That is. so <laughs> I think they're gonna do good. They're gonna surprise you. Uh, whatever. I hope so. Whatever. My next thing is Jeff Hardy versus DB Daniel Bryan and an amazing match that they put on the other the other day. Wait, side note. What you have to say, Jeff Hardy, but you have to say Jeff Hardy. <laughs> Because it's funny. Why? It's hilarious. I don't know. One time, I feel like someone said it back in the day, and it was like, Jafadi, but it made it seem like one word. Hilarious. So now, whenever I mention his name, I have to say it like that. So now I'm passing it on to you. Yeah, I'm, it's not going to be you're taken. Gonna, you're going to say it. Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Versus, <laughs> <laughs> versus Daniel Bryan. That was an amazing it was. A set of stuff. You know, it was. I, I've messed with it. It's a dream match. I was messing with that. I'm happy he's back, Dane Bryan, because he's giving us a lot of dream matches. Yeah, he has nothing to do. That's all he wants to do. He was miserable as a GM. Yeah, I mean, he could lose every match. I think he's happy as long as he's in a match. Yeah, he just, he just loves wrestling. I he, appreciate that. Unlike people like Brock, who doesn't appreciate wrestling. Or the you think he doesn't appreciate wrestling? Why, why do you think that? <laughs> let, me, let me stop. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of him. I feel like he, he gets there late. He leaves early. He gives us a trash five-minute match. He doesn't talk. He jumps around the ring and does nothing. Like, does nothing. and you're the, he's a champion. This is why I wouldn't care if he did all that things as long as he wasn't the champion. But he's a champion. He's supposed to be representing Raw. Mm-hmm. Tell him there. how you feel. Tell him how you feel. Yo, Tell him how like you feel. They, they should know how I feel already. Like, I don't make it no secret. I can't stand Brock. If he shows up more and actually wrestles more, I would have no problems with him. But it's not gonna. Brock happen. is a booty call though. He is. We know what I we saw, signed up I for. I watched y'all talk about that. We, 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 he's a booty call. He's the guy. That you call up for some Netflix and chill. <laughs> he does. He smashes. He doesn't stay to cuddle. He go. He leaves. He just leaves. Like, he just I didn't leaves. sign up for this, bro. I I, like, I, this is not what yeah, I Yeah, but that's, for. that's what we signed up for. It's not what I signed when he came back, that's what you signed up for. <sighs> I didn't want him to be my champion. Not my champion. He's not my champion either. I'm, just, I, I'm at a point where I'm over it. But I hate the fact that, that they're trying to make me feel sorry for Roman. Yeah, you can't feel sorry. Roman doesn't look like a guy you feel sorry for. How can I feel sorry for, for a guy that's six, that's over a six, six five, four. 
Excuse me. 6'4", 265. 265. Head down his back. Head down his back. <laughs> Great bone structure. Right. Beautiful eyes. Paws. <laughs> but bruh. it's all true. Like, but bruh. He's not the underdog. Bro, you, you have a gorgeous wife. Beautiful she, daughter. Oh, my gosh. She's amazing. Beautiful daughter. Like, what, what am I feeling sorry for you about? You get paid millions of dollars. Right. Rock is your cousin. Rock like, is your cousin. So you see the best family ever. Like, yo, I can't feel sorry for you, Not B. at all. He has to just be the badass, beating up everybody, tearing shit up. A man of few words. Man of few words, but, but they want to make so him much. feel like I'm supposed to be sorry. No. No. Go somewhere. I don't feel sorry for you. You're better than me. Honestly, you know how they fix Roman? Someone needs to kick his ass and take him off a of TV. And when he comes back, he comes back and just has no remorse for anybody. Exactly. Talk shit to the fans like, y'all didn't care about me. You know, the typical bad guy, you don't care But the thing me. about it, it, it gets some people more over, though. When, when people talk to the fans, because, uh-huh. no, hold on. WWE fans, or let me say, American wrestling fans <laughs> are so, so into themselves. The most foolish. They're, we <laughs> No, we have to be part of the show. Oh, yeah. We got to be right part right. of the show. We got to feel like we're, we're there. Because if you go to Japan. They're quiet. They're quiet. It's like watching an opera. Yeah, yeah. They really be in tune. Like, they just like. And I, I like it. Yeah, but um, us Americans want to be part of the show. Yep. Sometimes want to take over the show. As they have done a few well, times. Yep. Beach balls. Yep. They're ungrateful. <laughs> they are. But I, I can't even say y'all, y'all, because I'm one of them. Mm, and so well, are you. Only sometimes. So are you. Only sometimes. So we are horrible <laughs> people. So you, you, you can't make me feel sorry for you when I'm a horrible person. Wrestling fans are the worst, to be honest. Yeah. We're almost as bad as soccer fans. Soccer fans are the worst fans ever. Are they? No, no, no. They're the worst. Like, hardcore soccer fans are the worst fans ever. Yeah. They will destroy a city. Oh, my god! If their gosh. team w- loses. Sports fans in general kind of lose their mind. What? Baseball fans are the most quiet because baseball is boring. Oh, yeah. I love baseball, but it's I like boring. baseball, yeah. It is. It, it's a very, like, very oh, pristine sport. Twirl my mustache. Yeah, like- twirl my mustache. <laughs> I'm going to hit this ball. I'm going to run around the base. And then I'm going to go sit back down. Because I'm going to go sit back down. Yeah, yeah. They get to sit. Yeah. Okay. And so it's soccer fans, Philadelphia fans in general, <laughs> across the board. We're we talking about fans right now. Okay. So it's soccer fans, Philadelphia fans mm-hmm. across the board, across the Chicago board. wrestling fans. Definitely. Brooklyn wrestling fans, and then wrestling fans right there. All right. So let's the top five. So, so yeah, that's, that's the top five worst fans in the world. <laughs> What about football fans, though? Football fans are pretty, are pretty chill. <laughs> Except if you're an Eagles fan from Philadelphia. Okay. Oh, there you go Philly again. So, 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 but besides Philadelphia, football fans are pretty chill. You know, they don't get mad, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Because they're only there for the tailgate, really. Mm, okay. Okay. But they're, they're hardcore fans. Like, in, especially in the bad cities, like, like um, Buffalo. Oh, my gosh. Or, like, like, when the weather's really bad, like Chicago. There you go Chicago. They're grateful fans. <laughs> Wrestling fans are very ungrateful. We, we complain all the time. Like, I'm complaining right now about okay. different things. Hey, okay. that's what we do. So, I did my Jeff Hardy versus DB. What about you? I have um, Dave Bryan beating the hell out of Big Cass, a.k.a. Big Ass. I AKA hate, I hate stay Big off my Cass. TV. I hate Big I think he's so corny. He is. I, I'm not so a corny. fan at all. Like, if I did a top five wrestlers I can't stand right now, he, would, he, would, he wouldn't be number one. Who's the top five? Brock. Okay. Big Cass. Mm-hmm. Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss? I'm not a fan. I know. Are you serious? Hey. I'm Are over, you serious? I'm over the You're mean disgusting. girl. I'm over You're the disgusting. mean girl gimmick. You're a Can't horrible person. Oh, wow. You're a horrible person. How you hate that? <laughs> it's the mean girl. Oh, I'm over it. Who's the other two? Let's, over let's, 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 finish, let's finish it. Um... No, I have to think about that one. But those are my the Top three. three? I, I, can, I can give you some people right now. Ugh. Big Cass. Mm-hmm. I do not need to see you on my TV anymore. <laughs> I can't stand you. I cannot stand you. I cannot stand you. I'm with you. Bobby Roode. Whoa. You're not doing anything for me. <laughs> Figure your life out first, and then we can come back and talk. Hurt. Trash He's right glorious. now. Glorious, but not boring. You know, I have a, the, the guy I do a podcast with, he does not like Bobby Roode either. He said he's boring, but. He's boring. Boring. But he's solid. He's solid. I don't need solid. I need, I need something nice. <laughs> okay. He's like the male version of Natalia. Ooh, yeah, because Natalia is. Eh. I love Natalia. I think Natalia's the girl next door. Yeah. Boring. She gets, it, she gets it done in the ring, but like, yeah, it's nothing there. 
And then Bobby Roo is a nice guy. And then no girl wants to date right now until they turn 33 and they're stuck with cats in their house and they need a boyfriend. Oh, no. That's who Bobby Roo is. That's a pity boyfriend. It's not a pity boyfriend. It's the fact that you realize that you need to stop hoeing around and stop dating these, these, these mean guys mm-hmm. who, who disrespect you, who treat you like crap. But Bobby Roode's there, been there for so long, you know, <laughs> talking to you, even helping you with your relationship problems, <laughs> bring, you flowers at, bring you flowers and everything. But now you're like, you know what? I need to settle down. My ex is getting stale. I need to pop a kid out. Mm. So you date Bobby Roode. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. He, he seems very like, let's settle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm over Jeff Hardy, too. How can you be over Jeff Hardy? I'm over him. He just got back. I don't care. He's the new- I'm over him. Over him. First of all, it's Jeff Hardy. Thank but you. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that. One day you will, sir. No, my, my number two right now. Let's move it on, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Xavier spot on the, bul- the Bludgeon Brothers the other day. You mm. see that spot he did? Mm. So he jumped off one, one of their shoulders to jump on the other one. Xavier is a treasure, to be honest. I don't, worthy I, didn't, of him. I didn't even know he could wrestle until I think it was last year. Where he they saw because it used to just be Big E and Kofi in the ring. Yeah. But once he got in there, I was like, wow. He does like the little coast to coast elbow too. Yeah. Exa- like, Xavier's a pure athlete. I didn't know. Is he Jamaican? I don't know. I don't know. But he's great. Yeah, but he's amazing. He is. He's amazing. Is he more than 205? I think so, because he was on a way of becoming a champion. Mm. He was on that WWE um to become a champion type of thing. Like, he was on in that, like, in that mix. And I don't know who he pissed off back say, but they, they pulled him from that. Probably the second thing. Oh, that was... Is he talking about it? I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. No, but he looks real stocky. So, I'm like, I wonder if he's... I said Xavier. It was Kofi, actually, who I, did I it. said Kofi. That's what I meant. Yeah, I just yeah. realized that. It was Kofi, Kofi I believe. Is Kofi did the spot. Did the spot. That's what I mean. That's what I meant. I apologize, people. That was mad, mad messed up with me. It was, that's what I meant. Kofi did the spot on the Bludgeon, Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah, yeah. And that shit was amazing. Xavier is, just a, Xavier is just an intelligent work. But he's really good in the rings. This is what oh, I'm talking oh, about. I'm talking about his good. ring work. I'm talking about Kofi right now. Uh, but yeah, Kofi's phenomenal. Kofi, but Xavier, I don't know what they're doing with him after. If they break up, this is what I'm saying. If they like, break up, I don't know done. what they're going to do. He came, he, came up, he came up with the idea for them to put all three together. See? Because he knew he wasn't going to do nothing with himself. They wasn't going to do nothing with him. I mean, he, he, came, he came up with a lot of the, the creative stuff behind what they're doing. I believe you. He, he could be... All right, if they break up, he should stick with one of them and be the mouthpiece for that person. Yeah, he should stick with Big E. Yeah. I'm telling you, just keep them together, mm-hmm. make them a stable, and have Big E win the championship. Yeah, he could be the, the outbreak song. I, I'm with it. Big E needs to be champion. He does. And he's, what, 30? What, 33? Yeah, everybody's old in WWE. He, he's, a good, he's a good age, though. You know what I mean? He yeah. still moves well. You know? He's phenomenal. And, he's um, my he, height and, like, 50 pounds heavier than me. Yeah, he, he's, a, he's thick. He's yeah, thick. That's, that's what you like. I heard you like Yeah, I, I do like him thick. But, um, yeah, yeah. So, we're going to move on. This is my number one. I don't know how I'm on number one, but hey. It was not wrestling in the ring related, yeah. but John Cena and Nikki Bella breaking up. Because it was a shock. You don't think it was shocking? I mean, we all just saw it coming somewhere or another. Oh, I didn't know why I didn't see it because she was so dedicated to him. She was willing to give up marriage and children to be with this bastard, right? How is he a bastard? Because, like. I know, it's her fault she chose to stay, but I feel like, yo, if you know how badly a woman wants children, I could, like, give up marriage. But if a woman wants children and you're just like, nope, denying you this, I think you should just leave her alone. No, she should leave him. She made the choice. She signed that, that massive paperwork yo, to live in the house. Insane. Yo, if, you, if I need to sign paperwork to live with you, it was like 57 pages. So? I'm, I'm not signing You signed it. it. She signed it. Yeah, she's wild fault. for that. She's wild. I wouldn't have did it. But the breakup, I didn't see coming. You know what I mean? Like, they just got engaged like a year ago. He was forcing them in, 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 in that. I don't think he really it, wanted to do it. It was just a moment. I, I mean, they've been talking about he, he was on, like, Good Day or something like that. Good Day Live. He was like, I love her so much. I wish her well out luck and blah, 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 blah. Of course he does. Now, now you want him. Yeah, you but him. you guys don't appreciate when things are good. I don't know. People, 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 ne- <laughs> people never appreciate when things are going well. People never do. Never do. Especially women. No, no, no. No, it's no, me. especially women. No, no. He had it made with her, and now he's, I want to have her, her, I want her to have my children now, now that she left your ass. Come on, B. Now, Come on. She, she knew, she knew. You think he wasn't going to change his mind later on? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He, he it waited for him to lose her, for him to go on national television and say this. Yeah, Why not because tell it to he, her? Because you, you see her. how fine she is? All right. He so he should have gave it to her when she wanted it. 
You, you don't force people to do stuff. Whatever. He's popping right now in Hollywood. Is he? He's trying to get these Hollywood checks. He trying to be the next rock. He ain't the rock. Is all he's I trying to be say. the rock. You saw the movie Cockblockers? Oh, it was funny. It was funny. Hilarious. Funny. He, was he did funny. a phenomenal job in he that. Did, Stop did. hating. No, he did. He did a good Stop job. Stop hating. <laughs> Stop hating. I'm just saying he's no rock is all I'm Stop saying. Stop hating. Stop hating. Stick into it. Stop hating. The smack. My number one is the SmackDown deal. Oh, that yeah. though that billion dollar deal? Yes. It is something. Yes. Wrestling is moving forward. You know how much they got for that um, Greatest Way Rumble? How much they got? It was, it was like $20 million or something. Yes. Like, I'm like, The Whoa. checks are coming. They, they really are. Can I be a part of this company, please? Like, you really want to be part of this company? Would I, you work for the company? I would, but it, it depends on in what capacity. I heard that they, they work people. I know. Like, it's no I joke. Like, I would want to be a little backstage interviewer. Really? Because your body's not being, you know, like, I, I couldn't be a wrestler. I don't think I could do it. Like, it's a lot of training and conditioning, and you, you risk getting hurt every day. I couldn't do it. But being a, ac- a backstage interviewer, i do it. The only yeah. thing I find weird is, like, when they say, all right, now back to you, and they're just standing there with, looking dumb because the camera didn't cut off of them. I hate that. It makes me cringe. Okay. All right. So, number one was SmackDown deal. Yours was? Um, Nikki and Cena breaking up. Nikki and Cena breaking up. That's <laughs> phenomenal. All right. Got to wrap up. Okay. Today was a phenomenal episode. It was. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for having me. Showing love. Say Jeff Hardy. I'm not saying Jeff, Jeff Hardy. Not in that, that capacity. <laughs> but this is episode two of Wings and Things, the Ramadan edition, because I can't yes. eat. Because until 8.15. <sighs> Ooh, that's so far from now, by the way. Yeah, it's so far from now. And I'm going to the Battle Club Pro event mm. in Jersey. You should come by. I don't know if we... You, you I won't be Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. But it's gonna be so it's it's sponsored by the Java Tears podcast. I know, I seen we're sponsoring it. Um, but thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. Thank thank you for enjoying imaginary wings with me. (laughs) But next week, next week, we'll have next time we'll have wings next month. Yes, so thank you guys for watching on IG Live. Thank you for watching on the YouTube show. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to subscribe Haven Rain on YouTube. About, what, what's your what's your shout out your Instagram? Oh, Instagram is Haven underscore Rain. Okay, H A E V Y N R E Y H N E. All right, no problem, yeah. no problem. <laughs> this is Sir Wilk of the Jabba Tears podcast. You know, hit me up on I G S I R underscore Wilkins. Ooh. And also subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification button. We're trying to hit two hundred subscribers on our on our YouTube page. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sir Wilkins and Haven Rain for Wings and Things, Episode 2, the Ramadan edition. Thank you. Later.